Hello again. It's Wednesday, April 5th, 2023. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Among the several items of good news emanating from the Covington City Council's meeting on Tuesday were the recognition of longtime city employee Tim Green upon his retirement. Green was presented a plaque for his service. Additionally, Terry McClung was named Covington Small Business Coordinator. McClung has worked with the Allegheny Highlands Economic Development Commission for the past several years. There's video right now of this on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Sandra McHenry, MD, is the new leader of the Healthy Highlands program of the Allegheny Highlands YMCA. McHenry, a Clifton Forge resident, is also an associate professor at Mountain Gateway Community College. For much more on this story, log on to AlleghenyJournal.com. Both Allegheny County Administrator Reed Walders and Covington City Manager Alan Dressler provided several issue updates at their respective public meetings last night. For video of both presentations, log on to the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page right now. And now a word from our sponsor. Longtime Allegheny County Covington Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy Matt Bowser was relieved of duty after refusing to take a breath test after an auto accident near Clifton Forge on April 1st. The Allegheny Journal published the Sheriff's Office news release on the issue in full. The Virginia State Police Accident Report was published on the Journal on Tuesday. Several people spoke to the Allegheny County Board of Supervisors on Tuesday night. VDOT Susan Hammond provided roads and maintenance updates. Sheriff Hall made an animal control report and noted the progress on the Pathway to Achieve program. And Allegheny County resident Greg Brelsford spoke to the supervisors about Jackson River Scenic Trail Phase 5 construction concerns as well. There's video of all three now on AlleghenyJournal.com. On Tuesday afternoon, the Allegheny County Covington Sheriff's Office revealed that the 2002 Kia Sportage SUV involved in the missing persons case of Donald Kelly had been located. The investigation continues, the news release indicated. And we'll be right back. And now for regional obituaries. Marvin Jones, 57, of Covington, died Sunday. Bonnie Clater, 102, formerly of Covington, passed away on Saturday. Oki King Jr., 82, of Caldwell, died Thursday. Margaret Miller, 92, of Ronsford, died Monday. Charles Staten, 91, of Lexington, passed away on Saturday. Olin Waybright, 86, of Monterey, died Monday. Alan Bryant, 72 of Fairley, passed away on Monday. Melvin Gray, 76 of Alderson, died Thursday. And Maynard Johnson, 90 of Fairley, passed away on March 29th. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. And let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, it should be mostly cloudy with light showers and a chance of storms, high of 79 and a low of 50. On Friday, mostly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 56 and a low of 45. And on Saturday, mostly cloudy with light rain showers, high of 60 and a low of 39 degrees. 
And that's the way it is on Wednesday, April 5th, 2023. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our Soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.